Oh my god, it's the wonderful 101. It's Miles. Posted the stream information just about everywhere. I think anybody would care. <clears throat> so, Wonderful 101 remastered. Um, this game is the result of a very successful Kickstarter uh, that I was a backer of. Because I love me some wonderful 101. I just love me some Platinum Games games in general. So I backed it. And because I was a backer... Um, I backed for a Switch copy of the game. A physical Switch copy. But what with the world... Kind of ending. Sort of. Uh, backers who were originally getting physical copies... Got a free Steam copy. A free digital Steam copy. So that was awfully nice of them. So that is what we are going to play today. Aha! So this is how they're doing the dual screen thing. This is going to be interesting. Anyway. Ah! Just like other Platinum games, very easy. you get a few easy different dif difficulty easy. settings. Very easy. On very easy, you can eat a pizza while you easy. play the game. Whereas on easy, you can only eat a donut. Whereas on normal, you should not be eating. Because on normal, it is difficult enough to require the use of both hands. They did actually give him a new controller model. Well, <clears throat> they couldn't just leave the Wii U gamepad in his hands, I suppose. Because this was, originally, a Wii U game. <laughs> that replaced the Nintendo logo. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh man. Hmm. Well, it sure is great being a mild-mannered citizen in this day and age. Oh no! Oh no! 
This is neither mild nor mannered! This is how buses in the future work. Uh, all right, kids. Uh, everything's gonna be fine. Just um, stay calm and, and, and stay close to me. Stay close to me. Your teacher, Will Wedgwood. Oh my goodness, it's a frogman. Mission one. Got to make like Cool Cat and save the kids. There's always a couple stragglers. Pure Platinum! You're telling me there are only 20 kids on this bus? This bus train? I'm too mild-mannered to jump on a bus train! Time to get slightly less mild up I in here. Stop this bus, or else. Indeed, the characters in this game are very shiny. It's P Star. Get it? Because platinum, platinum logo. Uh, All right, here we go. We got to get to the front of the bus. You can dash by pushing a button. And you can run really fast. Well, we're just a mild-mannered teacher, so we can't fight. That's a little too spicy for us. A coffoon, hmm? Uh, I did actually up the bitrate. Uh, because this game is very visually busy. Freeze frame! <clears throat> Oh, well, I mean, it is running at a higher resolution than the Wii U version, and it is also running on PC now, so it actually gets to make use of all sorts of things, like anti-aliasing. Take. Utilizing the psychic switches on their wonder parents, the special combat agents on the wonderful one double O don their sentinel suits in a mere three billionths of a second. That's pretty These fast. Exoskeletons, ultra dense biometallic fibers grant super strength, transforming mere mortals into invincible defenders of justice. That all took place in three billionths of a second. I'm a special combat agent. Oh! Military Secret Service, Blossom City Field Office. Also known as Wonder Bread. Also, the theme song has been reorchestrated with a full actual orchestra. Oh, it sounds so good. Punch villains! Don't stop punching them, even when they're exploding. You can still punch them while they're exploding for even more points. And put the bad guys on the run. When the job's too ominous, 
for an average Jill or Joe. He is voiced by Sonic the Hedgehog, yes. Wah, wah. Um, uh. Created in secret by the United Nations, the Planetary Secret Service Organization, known as the Sentinels, is dedicated to defending the Earth from alien <laughs> Amongst Belts them, 100 souls from 100 cities around the world have donned a powerful exoskeleton known as a Sentinel suit, taking their place as secret combat agents known as Wonderful Ones. Once they've completed the most stringent training exercises, passed the toughest exams, been certified as physically fit, and approved as mentally sound... Yeah, when I look at this guy, I, I think mentally sound. From valor in battle to secret intelligence gathering, they undertake each mission with the utmost skill, while concealing their identities as most classified. Their faces are forever masked. Their tombs are forever unknown. They are proud to go down in history as simply one in a hundred. They are the 100 most wonderful defenders of our world. The wonderful one double earth. Boing. If it isn't Elliot Hooker, wonderful What you call me? Field office, also known as Wonder Blue. The time for intros, dude. Unite Morph already. Oh, right. Unite hands. By merging their wonder energy, special combat agents of the Wonderful One Double O link together in single file to form the Wonder Liner. Look at that wonderful line! The Unite Morph, secret weapon of the Wonderful One Double O, which enables them to recreate real world objects by real Oh, I hope you're ready for Wonder Red Exposition. According to a bubble memory blueprint. Wonder Red Loves Exposition. He should have been called Wonder Exposition. And hey, there you go. He enlisted on Groundhog Day. Alright. So now we can create a sword or a hand. The sword is a bit faster but does a little bit less damage. The hand is a bit slower but does a little bit more damage. You'll notice that attacking enemies increases your multiplier. We're using the sword because we want to get the multiplier up nice and big so we can get the pure platinum. Woo! You want to collect batteries because it's just like in Beautiful Joe. Using your superpowers uses up your superpower meter. Collecting a lot of batteries increases your superpower meter. Oh my god. Wonderful one's wonder energy to ordinary citizens, electroplating them with tiny wonder masks that both This music though. Transform the they added a chorus. That's amazing. Also, you can take mild-mannered citizens and make them significantly less mild and mannered. Also, every once in a while, you will run into a real wonderful one. Wonder Professor! Yeah. 
Yeah! Oh yeah, the Rainbow Trail happens whenever your Wonderliner will do something special. Yep, like that. Unite chain. Bada boom. Oh no. Wonder Blue fell off. I mean, P Star said in three kilometers we were gonna hit the school. I feel like. I feel like P Star has lied. Oh no. Why were we on this road to begin with? Did you see an exit? I didn't see an exit. Oh, it's okay, we can just do this. Unite Build allows wonderful ones to instantly analyze a structure for gaps or deficiencies and synthesize the missing components. The magic of pseudo-digital subatomic particle manipulation enables the wonderful 100 to literally make things out of thin air. You know, wonderful 100, they make a medicine for that. Just saying. Oh, good. Double O Shmumolo. How can they save the Earth when they can't even save one person on it? We're better off without them! Alright, calm down, Timmy Turner. I mean, Luca Allen Smithy. Luca. Oh, yeah! Uh, whenever the characters are talking, their character models... Uh, constantly bounce and squish their heads. Uh, a lot to beam up. I believe we've identified this planet's primary defense and our primary target. They will bow before me, like all the rest. <laughs> That's not foreboding. So, even though I got all pure platinums, the trophy at the end is only a regular platinum, because there is actually a hidden mission you cannot access at the very beginning of the game. That's right, they actually did that. Um, I, I think it is a little silly. The wonderful but hey, the loading times are way faster than they were in the Wii U version. So we can purchase things using our wonderful points, money, that we get by fighting dudes, like Unite Guts! And Unite Spring! Guts and Spring are the dodge and uh, block moves. And there's also custom blocks, Paper Mario badges, basically. A lot of them are very good, like Healing Guts and Auto Guts. And Hero Counter, Ukemi, is probably one of the best, but it is very expensive. 
We will not be able to afford that for quite some time. You can also purchase skills. What's this? Oh. You have to buy this move now. Or is that just information on it? Hmm. Speedliner. I'm actually a little confused because you didn't ha you didn't used to have to purchase multi unite. Um, you can also buy items like cakes and steaks and shocking red, which is a great big reference to Beautiful Joe. I hope you like Beautiful Joe because it this game is very reminiscent of Beautiful Joe. Uh, we can also look at our items. There are heart containers in this game. Heart pieces to build up heart containers. What is this? Full automatic. I actually do not know what that does. But it's okay. Normal attacks will be performed automatically. Designed for beginners. Using this custom block will lower your result length by one tier. Well, we don't want that. Get it out of here. So, the different Unite Morphs. There's Unite Guts. Use to block moves. Unite Spring. You use to dodge moves. You can actually turn these moves on and off. If you so wish. And there's Bottle Caps. These are the Chivos. For example, increase your Unite Gates to the max. That's Chivo. Increase your Vital Gauge to the max. That's a Chivo. Lots of Chivos. There's a crafting system. Just all sorts of things. But right now, we're just going to go on to the next mission. Op Operation 001. Blossom City Outskirts. Team, after 20 years of silence, Geth Jerk is back, and now they're hitting us where it hurts with a preemptive strike on Blossom City. But we can't let them have it. The rise of that city is the rise of our planet following Earth Defense War II, and I'll die before I let them lay their paws on it. Lawrence Nelson. I've been waiting all my life for the chance to make those alien scum feel the sting of my Valiantium blade. Of course, they won't feel it for long. They'll be dead from the blade. Our colleagues at the Gaia Defense Army have already activated the hyperplasma shield that circles the planet, codenamed Margarita. Hmm. That plasma layer has most of the invading army deadlocked. Unfortunately, None of the GDA tactical simulations accounted for the salty dingoes blitzing our orbital defenses before Margarita could be shaken to life. And now, entire battalions have turned our home into a cocktail of destruction. Well, clearly I think we should have stirred Margarita. The Sentinels have gathered you all here on the Virgin Victory for one reason and one reason <laughs> only. An all-out attack on Gethjerk. We will eliminate the enemy with speed, precision, and extreme prejudice. I so we should be racist at him? Project Stinger. Why don't you just have me do it? Save everybody the trouble. Wonderful ones from around the world are being rushed in and will join you as the battle progresses. Wonder Red, as a resident of Blossom City, your knowledge of the battlefield will be a valuable asset to the team. I'm placing you in charge. This is your chance to prove you have what it takes. And it's not just because you're red, which Seriously? is well known as the leader Sorry. color. With all due respect, I... Accept command of the team. Roger. Nelson, bro, hold up. Captain Noob Cakes? Really? Yes, he did actually use the phrase Captain Noob Cakes. Also, fair enough, Dustin. I'm probably going to be at this for quite a while. Anti air. They must be trying to block our approach. Wonderful one double O. Deploy and eliminate those enemy forces on the double. Roger. Team, 
Fall in. Roger. <laughs> oh no! We can't use the loading screen training because the load's too fast. I love how unenthused Wonder Blue is about having to unite up. So this is Wonderful 101, the first mission of the game. This is the dodge move. This is Guts. Whoop. There are all sorts of secret hidey holes where you can find things like these wonderful figures. And of course, break things. You can find space peppers, space eggplants, space carrots. You want to break as many things as possible because you can find lots of stuff by breaking things. Just break things, smash things. As Sonic would say, yeah, smash them up! Uh, you can also draw with the Wonderliner to collect things, which is cool because all your wonderful dudes they can pick up items just as easily as your lead guy. Which is very, very good. A chew dogu, hmm. So just like Pikmin, you can throw your dudes at dudes. Um, it's very useful. Oh! If you circle a bad guy while they are glowing, you can summon them to your side. Which is very useful in this early part of the game where you don't really have a whole lot of wonderful ones. So yeah, the Chudogus will dodge your moves unless you stack guys on top of them, so that's why you want to use the team attack. Oh no! Well, not getting pure platinum on this one. I took a damage. Oh no. You can dash by holding down the Y button, or if you just press it and let it go, you do a slightly faster dash that leaves all your guys trailing behind you. And... Whoop. Oh wow, you actually do have to buy multi-unite morphs. Alright. I don't remember having to do that in the original release of this game. Then again, Unite Guts and uh, Unite Spring were also more expensive in the base game. So, oh, if you like if you like rainbow visuals, you will like this game. For example, the Wonderliner can do stuff like that. If you see something suspicious, just try tracing it with your Wonderliner. It'll probably do a thing. So like I said, the fist is a little bit slower, but it's a little bit uh, stronger in terms of how much damage it does. Also, if you get hit, a lot of your guys will scatter. Uh, if you just run right next to them, though, you'll uh, pick them up. You can also pick up items and throw them. can be useful in some instances. Add these guys to our team. Also this music. The music in this game is very, very good. You may have noticed. But uh, yeah. We want to collect as many of these space eggplants and space carrots and just space everything as we can because the crafting system while it's not particularly useful for crafting, like, regular items, there is one item in particular. 
that you absolutely want to craft as much of as possible. It's also the most expensive item to craft. It requires 30 of everything, but... Oh, yep, there's also uh, wonderful toilets. Use a Wonder Liner to send your team into the Wonder Toilet. Just everybody pile into the Wonder Toilet. Everybody. But before we can do that... There's somebody hiding under this car! Oh yeah, you can also unlock skills. Like for the sword, we just unlocked Stinger. Uh, every single... Unite Morph has the same three skills you have to unlock. This is why we unlocked it, because Wonder Painter is a sword user. Everybody get in. And this one just spews out a whole lot of gears. Oh, hang on. Got a thing here. A super wonderful cake. That's even better than a regular wonderful cake. Oh! Now, wait a second here. That guy looks important. It's okay. Pick up the truck. Then recruit everybody first before you... Oh, yeah. Recruiting dudes can also increase your health meter. Wonder Beer. Give me the usual. He's from Germany. There's all sorts of interactive objects in the world like this that require specific Unite Morphs to interact with them. And then, when we go in here, oh my goodness. This is how they handle the, uh... The whole, uh, two screens thing, huh? An interesting decision, to say the least. I mean, I, I guess it's not really like they had a, much of a choice. Anyway, we want to get that code going. Heroes stand strong. Wonder Red is the most wonderful player. You can turn it off by hitting the uh, select button. Ooh, dual monitor support would actually be pretty good because I have dual monitors. Hmm. Oh, I want to recruit that guy. Ba boom! There we go. We've added him to the party. It may look sort of kind of almost like a Metroid, but, uh, it is not a Metroid. Also, uh, using the, uh, team attack, you can throw your dudes onto a dude, and that actually locks you on. So that you can zip right over. Shaboom! Oh. 
It has clearly been a very long time since I played this game. Ba Boom! But, uh, it's not a Metroid. It's actually gacha mechanics. Super stores the vitality gauge. We want to recruit all these guys on the bridge. Or at least as many of these guys on the bridge that we can. Oh, come on. Okay, I think we got everybody. Whatever. We are now 79 members strong. Our heroes do it again. Meanwhile down here, hey! If you see one of those, just cut it open and you get a wonderful file. Which has all sorts of information on other characters in the game. Circle the fish and they explode into money. There is a fair amount of variance in the uh, citizenry you can pick up. Soldiers, school kids, police, businessmen. It's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. And there are secret fights that sometimes you have to backtrack in order to fight. That stinger right there. Very useful. Also, stacking enough enemies on top of a dude can stun them and interrupt their attack. Let's start uh, giving Wonder Red some, some love. Oh, it's a very good game, Frog. It is a very, very good game. You absolutely should definitely get it. Oh, almost missed those batteries. Every once in a while, there are these secret things where you have to, like, trace a specific shape. It is not very easy, though. Come on. Oh, they are so close. This is admittedly something that was much easier with the Wii U gamepad. There we go. And yes, there are indeed Chivos for collecting all of these collectibles. Also, you'll notice that uh, whenever I hit the dash button, well, I mean, you can't really see what buttons I'm hitting, but hitting the dash button uh, dispels whatever you night morph you might have. Oh my goodness. Look at all those space peppers. Gotta get the space peppers, man. Dang it. So yeah, if you're like running across the Wonder Bridge, 
and you decide to dash across it. You get a little bit of a grace period where the bridge stays, but not a lot. Hold down. Ryan Styles most hated enemy in this game. So, the armor on a hoedown will break your Unite Morph. But that's okay, because you can break it by uh, reflecting its attacks back at it. Oh no! It all, its attack also flattens you. Its ramming attack. Which uh, is actually bad, because flattening you can't uh, Ukemi out of. Ukemi's like a super useful move, but there are some attacks that even Ukemi can't do anything about, and it sucks. A Geth Jerk file, ooh. By the way, don't expect me to get all of the hidden secrets. I just know where a lot of these are because this is like the first level of the game. Later in the game, <laughs> I'm not going to find all of them. I should be able to find all of the wonderful ones, but that's kind of it. Also, you can make bigger weapons by drawing longer lines. Bigger weapons do lots more damage, but they don't last forever. And there are four sizes of weapon that you can create. You can create this small regular size one, you can create a slightly bigger one that uses 20 dudes, an even bigger one that uses 50 dudes, and then finally, you can summon all 100 of your soldiers into a single Unite Morph, except for the guy who has to hold it, but you know. That one's the biggest, but it also lasts only about long enough to do like a single combo, and that's it. So, yep, yep. I've already explained this, P Star. Circle things with the Wonderliner to do things. Yep. Victory torpedoes are basically like screen nukes that you can use if you're uh, slightly less confident in your abilities. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Also, everybody you recruit gets their own wonder mask. Even the bad guys. So, yeah, uh, because hitting these hoedowns, like, even once will break or unite more. Like, when they're surrounded by a lot of enemies, you kind of have to, like, play a bit more cautious. Uh, civilians just get knocked silly. Your wonderful ones can't die. Um, basically... If you run out of health, it's game over, but, like, you never have to worry about them, like, dying or being, like, completely removed from the party. They are never in that much danger. 
All that matters is the health of your lead guy. That's it. And of course, you can instantly uh, restore them back to fighting fitness by just running your dude into them. So in these quick time events, the larger the Unite Morph you draw, the more money you get for succeeding them. And in fact, this game actually has fun quick time events. Because there is that little bit of, like, pressure luck involved with them. But also for one other reason. You want to hold down the Y button so you can, uh, get your group tight together underneath the shield like this. And uh, the game will go into slow-mo to let you spin around in order to block the explosions. So that is also something you are not in any imminent danger of, really. Hey, there's another wonderful one. You can also create ladders. Ta-da! The Fury of 200 Fists! And we got Stinger for the hand. So now we have a full party of 100 wonderful... Well... 100 wonderful ones and recruits. Wonder Kung Fu. He's a school janitor. No. Yep, as I thought. This is a game where wearing headphones is very useful. Because lots of enemies do have, like, uh, sound cues for their attacks. Like, the hoedown firing firing their cannon has a very distinctive uh, tell. Boom! Oh, with rain rainbow trails, naturally. Of course. Oh, gotta pick up that space pepper. A Daidogu. This is kind of the point where the game... Kinda, sorta... Starts taking off the kid gloves a little bit. These guys are a little bit tougher. Just cause, like... They... Their attacks are a little bit wider. Um... And they can do this thing where they go red. If an enemy is red and they strike you, uh, A, they're very likely to flatten you. But, uh, B, they'll also break your guts. And you do not want your guts to be broken. No, sir. A Geth Circle? Kakuriga. Secret bases that the remnants of the last Geth Turk invasion hid underground. How to uncover them is a secret to everybody. Ha 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 ha. But uh, anyway. So you've seen those secret missions where you have to backtrack. Uh, this is another type of secret mission, but this is like a special challenge mission. If you've ever played Bayonetta, this is basically like the, uh... Those little trial areas you can find which have unique challenges. For example, defeat all enemies. But oh my goodness, we only have 50 wonderful ones. So yeah, these challenges typically force a particular loadout on top of you. And they also uh, drop your health down to 5 hits. 
So I can only get hit five times before I fail the challenge now. The challenges do have ratings, like you see here, pure platinum. And you get wonderful figures for completing them. And guest jerk files, and wonderful files, all sorts of things. Oh no, we can't train because we load too fast. But yeah, you always get your team back when you leave the Kaku Riga, so you don't have to worry about like... Oh no, I'm gonna lose all my teammates if I enter the Kaku Riga. No. They, they don't they don't do that. There's five platinum coins in e every level. Um, again, that's something I'm probably not going to find all of. You do get a Chivo for finding all of them. This is installed on a solid state drive, yeah. Ah, Wonder Patisserie from France. I hope you're ready for lots of wonderful ones, because there are a lot of wonderful ones. Oh my goodness, money! Money everywhere. I was ready for him and everything. They will eventually shake your wonderful ones off. Um, oh dear. You can block these guys' attacks, and it stuns them. Oh, nope, that's not what I want at all. Oof. Oh! God, they got that comeback. Oh, now they're mad. You can also recall uh, wonderful ones who are busy doing the leap on top of a dude attack um, if you hold down the Y button it calls them back go get you some food in the meantime we're gonna jump down here because there's more fish that we can turn into money Just like Animal Crossing. Also, yes, there is stuff in these holes, too. Not these small ones. But uh, you do still want to rescue lots of lots of citizens, even if you have a full full count of a hundred wonderful ones, because you can get extra items and also extra money. Money is very important when you're trying to save the world. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Oh, another wonderful one. Wonder guitar. He's from Seattle. All about that grunge. Oh no! Boop! 
the wonderful ones do replace the citizens. Also, yes, you can still use guts even if you're in the air. As well as spring. Also, you may notice that the size of Guts actually does depend on how many Wonderful Ones you have. Uh, there are attacks that do require certain... certain sizes of Guts in order to block. Anyway, here's the Maximum Fist. So, the it's called the Wonderful 101 because they're the Wonderful 100. And you're playing the game. You're the one. Rock hard sports. So, oh no, they're getting hurt because it's fire. It's okay. Having Unite Hand out actually protects you from fire. Of course, you have to actually have the fist out. But... That lets us get up here and recruit another wonderful one. Wonder Judo. He's from Anchorage. But yeah, uh, you are protected from fire as long as you have the Wonder, as long as you have Unite Handout, and you also throw fireballs. There is a Chivo for finding all of the wonderful ones. Also, trace that seven, and you get another platinum coin. I'm getting the fuck out of here! Pretzelicious. Uh, having the full complement of 100 just means you can do a lot more stuff. I'll get into that more as it becomes relevant, but let's just say having the full 100 is very useful. So, this guy... That pouncing attack, you can block. But, you can't block these poison attacks, and you can't block the stinger. If he tries to use his stinger, don't block it, because uh, piercing attacks can break your guts. Yeah, and having your guts broken instantly stuns all of your wonderful ones. You do not want that to happen. You'll know you've success successfully stunned someone when they start glowing gold. Anyway. Oh no. It's okay. Recruit them, and you get a Chivo. Anyway. So, when I bring up this screen... Uh, oh, you can't actually change the way it displays. That's interesting. Ha ha ha. Um, there is a way to get faster battery recharge. It's actually very useful. Uh, I'll go into that a little bit.
You can change the size of the second screen, which is not something you could do on the Wii U version, I don't think. Anyway. Uh, on the second screen, you can actually choose which leader you want. So let's say I'm sick and tired of using Wonder Red. I want to use Wonder Rex. Because they're a dinosaur, and that's awesome. Well, now when I draw Unite More Fist, it's Wonder Rex who carries the fist. Instead of Wonder Red. This is actually very useful, because you'll notice they actually have experience points. You want to level up all of your wonderful ones so you can get the extra moves, and leveling up your wonderful ones also increases your maximum health. Anyway, these are all the fist users. Uh, regular citizens don't level up. You just want to level up your wonderful ones. So, we have a lot of fist users. But hey, here's Wonder Blue and his sword, along with Wonder Gamer, Wonder Guitar, all that sort of thing. It's actually kind of interesting. But, yeah. And you can actually see the total rank of all your dudes at the bottom. This is all very handy information. Anyway. That's actually the end of the level over there. I don't think there's anything else we can do here, so let's go beat the level. Ouch. Oh yeah, uh, different wonderful ones also make different noises. A wonderful mart. Splendid. Oh wow, I got a platinum. That's pretty cool. Uh, the higher the rank you get, the more money you get, the more citizens you save, the more money you get, the more enemies you recruit, the more money you get. Uh, not using any continues, not using any items, you get more money. If you save 100 citizens, you get more money. If you use enemy weapons, you get money, but I didn't use any enemy weapons, so I didn't get any money for that. And if you completely max out your Unite gauge for the level, you also get more money. Which, I believe... The uh, that's actually a full breakdown of the mystery bonus that you used to get in uh, the Wii U version. The Wii U version had a mystery bonus that you just got at the end of every stage, just for, like, beating the stage. But uh, it appears that they've replaced that with uh, that, which I kind of prefer. Anyway, some new Unite Morphs. Some custom blocks. Some skills. It does sound like an improvement to me as well. Uh, we're actually going to save our money for now because multi unite is way too useful. I want to get that. Multi unite w opens up so many options. Like you would not even believe. Roger! Roger! That's the name of the guy who voices Wonder Blue. It's Roger. The wonderful 101. So when you start a new stage, uh, your party is immediately shrunk all the way back down to however many wonderful ones you have recruited. So while we're starting with 27, which is more than we started the previous stage with, uh, we have to recruit all the way back up to 100 all over again. So once again, we're back to being stuck with piddly Unite Morphs and the like. And our uh, Unite Gauge has also shrunk back down. Oh, I mistimed that. Uh, successfully initiating a block also does a little bit of damage, so you want to do that as often as possible. Oh! 
Yeah, those guys can do that too. Boomy. Uh, not so great on the time, but whatever. Anyway, you can pick up anyway weapons, like this. Wonder Rex loves you this much. And, uh... Yeah. I'm not really super fond of using enemy weapons, just because they don't really have a whole lot of oomph to them, at least to me. Um... A uh, Wonder Rex is actually a girl, of like a kindergarten girl who just wants to be a T-Rex. Oh yeah, uh, that's another thing is uh, the ages of the wonderful ones. So this is a ray down, very similar to the hoe down, except instead of firing cannonballs, they fire lasers. Oh, won't be able to demonstrate that quite yet though. But, uh, when you have a laser getting ready to be fired at you, pull out the sword, and it reflects the laser. You don't even have to do any sort of special command or anything. Having the sword out just reflects the laser. Fire the laser. Oh my goodness. This is extreme. Better unite that sword. Boing. Oh. That's right. Oh. We have another wonderful one. Another wonderful toilet. Which is full of space eggplants. Grab that wonderful one. Because it's... Wonder Socho. He has the sass knuckles. And excellent leadership. He's not very fast, though. I would like to use this elevator. Oh, no! The elevator broke, did. That's okay. I saw one of these up here. I know how these work. Uh, you definitely want to catch these, uh, gotchas whenever you see them, because they almost always have a new wonderful one in them. Like Wonder Matador, he is a benevolent bovine lover, despite his name. But it's it's not like random chance whether or not the they have a wonderful one in them. If it's the first time you've seen them, they'll have the wonderful one in them. So you don't have to worry about like actual gotcha mechanics with these. Oh my goodness, and another wonderful one? Of course it's Wonder Magician. His name is Harry Silverfield, and he's from Chicago. He uses the fantastic. He has a lot of wisdom and good judgment, though. 
So here's a special Unite Morph that you use every once in a while. If you draw a triangle, you get Unite Glider. You use this in a few places. Uh, I also drew it by accident that one time, which is why it might look a little familiar. Well, that's a big one. He's 200% dangerous. What? No, but I live here. Uh, the stats don't matter. They're just for fun. Some sort of subspace stealth coating must have allowed it to avoid detection on the ground. We're gonna scrap this bipedal assault weapon. Team, unite up! Roger. All right, team. Unite up. Break these very obvious weak points. I want a big sword so that I can hit as many of them at once as I can. You do want to be careful. He will try to slam you, but if you have big enough guts, you can block it. Oh. Actually, I don't think you can block that with a uh, Unite hand. Whoa, hey, come on. Whoa, there we go. Now, the benefits of drawing a really big sword are you can also hit his face at the same time, which briefly stuns him. And of course, uh, like all of the Unite Morphs, you do actually need conscious members of your team in order to do Unite Spring, which is why I tried to do it there, but it didn't work. Well, that looks suspiciously gear-like. Oh, goodness. Get that shit out of my face. Whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. We're clipping. Also, you do have to make sure you are spinning the cog the right way. For these quick time events, though, you always end up getting the main wonderful one. And I believe it also automatically switches you back to that wonderful one as the uh, official Unite Morph leader. What rock was that thing hiding under? It was hiding under this rock. Team, let's move. This rock that we're all standing on, planet Earth. Oh no, they actually fixed it. We are still Wonder Rex. Good. So they actually did fix that. That was a thing in the original Wii U version where, um, like, those quick time events would always end up changing your party member back. 
Uh, but uh, looks like they fixed it. That's cool. Very good fix. That's only 55% dangerous. I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? Look, if it's not at least 200 from now on, who even cares anymore? What even is the point? Just trying to make sure I don't miss any uh, secret... secret fights. Oh no, Space Invaders! Or Yoo-Hoo's! They're only 15% dangerous. What a bunch of chumps. Uh, but they are also in the air, which makes them slightly more difficult to contend with, just because we don't have a whole lot of aerial options. I mean... We can throw dudes and then lock on, but that's kind of it. Oof. But we can get in. And ride. Fortunately, the team attack uh, does actually aim into the air a little bit, which is very helpful. Easy for you to say, Flying Toaster. We can't even reach the darn thing. Well, all right, you showed us your moves. Now show us what you're going to do. Oh. Le Sniper Superior Wonder Green. Doink. You're late, Frenchie. Did you get lost jumping the pond? Oh, Blue. I see your continued failure with the ladies has done nothing to remedy your brusque mannerisms. A man's man by default. You get my chain, Captain Croissant. Thank you. Your help was invaluable. Jean Sebastian Renault. I mean, Wonder Green, isn't it? <laughs> Pardon, you are the leader of this operation? You seem uh, unfamiliar. Have we met before? Tea in Versailles, perhaps? Dude's only been on the team for a month. Sacre vert! A novice? You may address me as Monsieur Wonder Green. Have you no respect for etiquette? La hierarchy? I... Wonder Green is 12. Uh, I'm sorry. I will have you know I am no simple child. Tell me now, what scores did you receive on your tactical examination? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was 100 on the written, 98 on the field. Um, uh, but it was not a pure platinum! Wonder time. Green has gotten pure we platinums on expect. everything! Wonder Rouge. Roger. Good to have you on the team, Monsieur Wonder Green. So, Unite Gun. Well, first of all, I'm surprised they got away with still making the big one a super scope. Um. But, uh, Unite Gun, it's basically an extra long distance team attack. Very useful. It also increases your multiplier by a lot.
I'm pretty sure there's like a hidden thing down here now. Yep! Hey, we found all the Kaku Rigas in Operation 1. That's good. So we only have five wonderful ones, which means we can't even make a Unite Morph, so... We gotta make use of weapons. Fortunately, the game isn't, like, a complete dick and gives you way more than enough weapons to deal with the enemies. But yeah, every once in a while it'll throw you into one of those where you can't even unite morph and you have to use, you have to use enemy weapons in order to advance. So, another thing Unite Gun can do is, um, it can take these, and, uh, if I can not be stupid, fire them back. And you don't even need the big gun to do it, you can do it with, like, the regular size gun. Uh... These spike bombs, however, uh, they do eventually, like, transform into, like, a rolling mode, and at that point you can't pick them up anymore. Listen to the pitter-patter of their steps. Whoa! Oh, goodness. But, uh, yeah. Gun increases the multiplier very fast. Which is very useful. Uh, firing the super scope fires multiple dudes at once, as opposed to just a single for every bullet. Um, gun is unique in that it only has two different sizes. It has regular gun size, and then it has super scope size. Oof. Yeah, see, you can't guts, you can't guts any stinger moves. Wonder Red leveled up. 
But, uh, the stinger can be dropped as a weapon, and you can use it. It's a whip. And we got a Chivo for turning every fish into money in Operation 001. And of course there's a thing in that giant circle. Why would there not be? And there's a thing in that circle. Oh, and there's a wonderful one over there, I believe. Oh, and you can pick this up. And it's a weapon. Now, using the dash move means that, uh, you know, we're going to toss this gun that we want to keep. So we're going to keep this gun. And basically let it do most of the work. But I guess even while carrying the giant gun, they are no match for a really angry dude. Oh no. God, I keep mistiming that. I'm the worst at this game. Yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that outcome. Recruit a bunch more citizens. Pile everybody under the wonder toilet. That one is a bit obvious. This, on the other hand, may be a bit less obvious. There's secrets everywhere in this game, man. Everywhere. Like, see, right there. That was a secret. Oh, there's a wonderful one. Wonder Kabuki with his umbrella blade. Hmm, the platinum arrowheads. You can use the sword as a giant key, obviously. So we've got, you know, these interior areas, which are all very interesting. You can use the crazy gun suction thing on all sorts of different items and objects in the game world. Not just bombs. Look at this bum. Get in the team, get in the party. Oh yeah, no problem. Impossible Air is very good. Wonder Science.
the strange love blaster. Ah, uh, but we have another gun user, which is very good. That is not what I meant to do. We're just gonna turn off those tutorials for now. So it's time for a minigame! We gotta time it just right. Or else the baseball will hit you. But it gets faster each time. can't even guts it. That's how powerful this baseball is. Oh my god. I'm the worst at this. There we go. You can dodge it, though. Which is good. I was shooting a little too early. Oh no, I got a consolation prize. Oh, I hope you're ready for this. We're about to find out what Geth Jerk stands for. Geth Jerk. Lambo is 100% dangerous. How about you come down here and I toss you in a cage where you belong, banana breath? And you are? They call me Wonder Blue. Soon you'll feel the sting of my Valiantium blade. <laughs> of course, you won't feel it for long. You'll... I have no time to waste on pathetic underlings. You will produce your leader. Who you calling an underling? Ah, there is the blue I have missed. Every insult an opportunity to further taunt your opponent. Stick a tube in it, boy, Graw. I'm the one you're looking for. I'm the leader. You? You? That's right, me. I'm Wonder Red. And you've got only one choice, Invader. Lay down your arms, or lay down your life to the wonderful one double O. That's one hell of a choice. <laughs> That's rich. You're Wonder Red? Ha ha ha! There must be some mistake. I came looking for combatants, not color-coordinated cosplayers. In the interest of time, I hope you don't mind being vaporized by my molecular disintegration cannons! Uh, actually, I do mind. I, I mind that quite a bit, Mr. Lambo. Mm, this is 85% dangerous. Not quite as dangerous as Lambo, but still pretty dangerous. Air cannon at 12 o'clock. Team, unite up! Roger! Uh... So... Oh yeah, you can also suck up stunned enemies and fire them. Like, if an enemy is stunned and on the ground, you can pick them up with gun. Uh... Right now, that's a bit lower on the priority list, but, uh... But yeah, that thing there where they're like, 
changing into like a buzzsaw. That that's what I was talking about. When I said if you leave them for too long, they they just do that. And when they start doing that, you actually can't um, pick them up with gun anymore. Also, you do need to make sure that you are far enough away that you will actually hit with the uh, bomb that you are firing back. I don't want to hit the other bombs with the bombs, though. I want to hit the cannon, please. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. And then Lambo comes down and he decides he wants a bit of this party. He can block attacks with his sword, because of course he can. You don't want to get too close to the cannon, because it will discharge electricity. You also don't want to try blocking that ground pound move. Also, there are, in fact, enemies in the stands spelling out the word Geth Jerk. What? We found it! Understood! On my way! Unfortunately, my costume comrades, our play date is at an end! But don't worry, you can still play with my toys! Oh, we can't let that happen. The enemy anti-air cannon has radar lock. Initiating Virgin Victory spell defense systems. Team! Unite up! Roger! Oh! That guy has a baseball bat! Oh, goodness. Okay. Let's do this. Shazam! Also, if you can see the targeting thing, it's shaped like a home plate. It's shaped like a strike zone in home plate. And of course, there is a Chivo for not missing a single hit. By the way, you do actually want to get the Chivos in this game, because they unlock things. What exactly did you do? Whoa, what was that? The angry alien did fly off in that direction, did he not? Not the goddess. This is bad.
Alright, you kids have been staying out far past your bedtime. Wonderful 100. All aboard on the double. We're headed for the goddess of blossoms. Initiating uh, Except for all you people that Wonder Red just recruited to the team. Uh, if your name isn't Wonder Something, I don't want you on my ship. Well done, team! There is a Wonder Disappointment. His name is Wonder Blue. Alright. I would like to purchase Multi Unite now. Multi Unite is very useful. Oh my goodness, and you can increase the power of Multi Unite by getting multiple Multi Unites. I think we can make do with just one for now. Uh, on the other hand, there are very useful uh, other skills. Can't buy Unite Tombstone quite yet, but we can purchase the Energy, energy converter. converter. So, the Energy Converter is interesting in that... Oh yeah, uh, leveling up your Wonderful Ones also increases the number of custom blocks you can equip at one time. So the Energy Converter... Basically... If you, like, manage to get... Like, something that increases your battery, but you're full on battery... It converts it into health, and vice versa. If you're full on if you're full on health, and you pick up something that increases your health, it gets converted into battery. That's actually what the uh, space peppers, space carrots, and space eggplants kind of do. Like the so collecting those, very useful. You do want to do that. A bit, yeah. Roger. The wonderful one one. Alice, full speed to the goddess of blossoms. Why the rush? It is just a statue, is it not? <laughs> it's a really nice statue, though. Pads. She's the symbol of the city. We can't just stand by and let those aliens defile her. It's worse. The super reactor powering Margarita is inside the goddess. If Geth Jerk knocks it offline, Earth is done for. Uh, yeah, and the end of the world thing he just said. I think we know who wears these smarty pants around here. Touche, dude. Goddess of Blossoms at 1,000 meters. Large jerk matter signature in the vicinity. What on um. Earth? Not the jerk matter. At last, the key to unlocking the Earthling Shield is in our grasp. Once it is destroyed, the hole we blow open will leave them defenseless. Now to roll out the red carpet for an award-winning alien invasion! <laughs> Time for that alien to eat missile! No, we can't risk damaging the statue. Ultra high res imaging on the way. That's ultra high res, huh? That kid. Luca. Luca, what are you doing? Luca, why are you in there? Luca, why? Alas, we are done for! Mama! Energy readings nominal inside the statue. The super reactor is still operational. Alice, full speed ahead. We're going to get back that statue. Wonderful 100, prepare to deploy on deck. We've got new rules of engagement. I'm approving the use of unlimited form. Make the most of it, and get me back my goddess. Roger. Shirogane drive limiters deactivated. Engaging unlimited form. 
It's time to power up! By collecting elementary atomic particles from space, Wonderful Ones are able to form a limitless energy source for their Sentinel Suit's next generation Shirogane drives. This is Emergency Operation Mode Unlimited Form. Disabling their Shirogane drive limiters, they push their suits to reach new levels of Unite Energy capacity. However, this power comes at a cost. Extended operation in unlimited form can cause considerable damage to team members, and an overheating drive can explode with teratons of force. The ultimate weapon is the ultimate double-edged sword. Team, fine! Roger! Bada boom boom boom! The wonderful 101. So, unlimited form, you do not have infinite battery energy. Not how it works. Instead, you just get a full battery meter. You don't have to collect batteries. And yes, everybody also gets actual capes. As opposed to just scarves. Where did this child come from? No matter, Orochi to the stratosphere. Orochi is a reference to Okami. Hold it right there, invaders. Oh, the cosplay brigade returns. The look of utility on your faces is absolutely wonderful. Hey, we're the Wonderful 101. That's very fitting. We're Wonderful 100. Your beloved got us into 1.735 million little pieces. Give or take three or four. Well, that just sounds rude, sir. Daiku Orochi revived. 150% dangerous. This guy's one and a half Lambos. That cyborg monstrosity is our target. Team, unite up. I cannot take credit for the term Lambos, by the way. That is Chip and Ironicus. So, uh, we can steer the Virgin Victory now because we're controlling the Virgin Victory. We have to steer it. Using a giant captain's wheel and Unite Fist. We have to dodge projectiles, occasionally shoot projectiles. Obviously, you don't want to get hit by the fireballs, but if you get hit by, like, the weird gooey things... Also, sometimes you need to speed up! Oh, no! This is very tiring on the hand. Uh, but yeah, the goo projectiles, those will actually, like, get your, uh, steering wheel stuck, so you need to cut it off with sword. All right. We've got to launch the anchor. Whoa, careful. You don't want to fall off here. That would be bad. The worm still 
little squirrel. We're out to bury them. All right, <laughs> let's do this. Oh, you want to be careful with this thing. But yeah, when one Orochi fires a laser, you can reflect it into the other Orochi. We don't have enough wonderful ones to block that quite yet, so don't try it. But uh, eventually, after you do enough damage, they'll spit up a bunch of regular citizens that uh, presumably they ate at some point. And now we have enough. But uh, right now, the goal is to get a full team of 100. Hell yes. Every once in a while, you'll get this counter. I didn't do it quite right. Fortunately, there's not really a problem with failing it at this point, but that counter thing is actually like a super special move. Uh-oh, he's about to shoot fire. Uh-oh. And after a while, Lambo will come down and decide he wants to have a word with you. So, whoop. Here's where uh, multi-morphs come in handy. Because right there, I summoned a second fist. In addition to the normal one. So I'm like doing double, double duty right now. Double damage. And you can combine Multimorse too. You can have a sword going while you're using fist or gun. So that's another reason you want a lot of dudes at once, because it lets you create a lot of different uh, Unite Morphs all at once. We've almost got a full 100. Now, I believe with those quick time events, uh, the maximum, as it were, 
is dependent on how many wonderful ones you have. Actual wonderful ones, not just recruits. So, for example, I could get up to 39,000, but that's because I only have 39 wonderful ones. This is extreme. My beloved Orochi, didn't your mother tell you to treat other people's toys with respect? Now I'm going to have to take it out. Oh, oh I don't think I'm ready for this. Ooh, ooh. This should be high enough. Save they also orchestrated tables turn. Get her back. Oh, this sounds so good. This sounds so good. All right. What we want to do here, we want to throw these. And shoot those. And reflect those. Oh, this music's so good now. Oh. You do want to be careful. I'm so glad those home in. So yeah, you see, I got a little bit of health back there because uh, hitting him with the thing increased my battery gauge, but I was already at max. Because hitting enemies slightly increases your battery gauge, so you can't actually recover health by hitting dudes. Oh, this orchestration's so good. Here it comes. Whoa! 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 I think not. Oh no, the arrow. Fast, worms. My techno bow would like to have a word with you. And that word is die. Okay. I'll pretend I'm impressed. So that's what the counter thing is for. Like, you'll see the wonderful one pop up in the corner of the screen. They'll say something like, hey. And then, uh. That's usually an indicator that you want to make an attack with that particular weapon at that point in time. Of course, you don't want to fuck it up like that. Music's so good. I'm so glad they were able to reach the orchestration stretch goal. Yep, 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 yep.
Damn. the same fight, dude? That was all me. How could you me Feeling a bit beside yourself, Lambo? My men are less forgiving than I was. Wonder Red, I should have known. Curse you and your minions. <laughs> So that was the first boss fight of the game. Dude, where are you gonna put that lame gun away and get yourself a real weapon? <gasps> Do not listen to him, Christine Daye, my bell. Oh yeah, you can also push buttons in order to like hide the uh, subtitles if you want. Super reactor output nominal. Brilliant. Let's take. Or hide the whole character. Flight path clear. Virgin Victory returning Goddess of Blossoms to original position. Red, prepare for laser teleportation. Roger! Or just see their eyes! Bro, what's up with the kid? He's a student in my class. Which are still animated. So Luca. I hate those guys. I hate them! Luca doesn't like the wonderful 100. I wonder if maybe he has a tragic past. Would have been better. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Nelson. Could have been better. <laughs> Generally, the only way to do boss fights faster is to start out with the full complement of wonderful ones. Like, start out with, like, all 100 of them. Anyway. Hmm, still not enough to make the ultimate weapon. Soon, though. Soon. But hey, we got enough to buy something. Unite Tombstone. Unite Tombstone. Unite Tombstone is very, very useful. It's basically a ground pound. It is a bit on the expensive side. Not just in terms of uh, cash, but also um, battery. But it is a very useful Unite Morph to like finish a juggle with. Because not only does it hit enemies on the way down, but it also makes you go down very, very fast. So you might be able to hit the ground before the enemy does, and then immediately start juggling them again. If you're good at the game, which I clearly am not. But, I'm just saying, that is a thing you can do. If you are good at the game. details of your next assignment. An enemy parasitic intelligence extractor has taken over one of our key communications facilities, Blossom Tower. We need you to get rid of that data parasite on the double. Our firewall may have been breached, so the Virgin Victory is going offline to sit this one out. No worries, dude. My Valiantium Blade will split that alien bug thing and the tower in half quicker than you can say extermination time. Boom! I don't think I need to remind you that Blossom Tower is a critical part of our planetary defense systems. You need to make 100% sure that it survives the battle without a scratch, or we'll be as good as blind. So don't split it in half with your stupid Valiantium blade. There's so many different kinds of radar in this universe. Wonderful one double O. We are counting on you. Roger. Team fall in! Roger! Wonder Blue, why aren't you saluting? Wonder Blue, why? Wonder Blue. Team, unite up. Roger. I just love how unenthused Wonder Blue is. Roger. 
Oh, these people are in need of assistance. Come on, I'm gonna recruit that guy. Yeah! Gun is also very useful because it has really good auto aim. Also, the direction that you draw the uh, multi-morph kind of matters a little bit. But you do want to make sure you draw it in a direction that makes sense. Because your teammates will go flying off in that direction. Just feels like there should be something out there. But hey! It's time for another wonderful one. Wonder Chef. He has a bread gun. Hmm, I sure do want some munch and crunch cakes from Pac Man. But it's a good thing we're not in the middle of a mission right now. Otherwise, that would be really irritating. Ah! We have someone else using the sword right now. It looks like, uh... Once your dude fully ranks up... It automatically switches... Or maybe not. I don't know. Oh! I'm betting it's because Wonder Blue was knocked out at the time. That would make sense. Anyway, I believe I saw a Hero Heart over here. Yep, a Hero Heart Fragment, rather. We do want to collect as many of those as we can. I'm, I know I've already missed some. But that's beside the point. How do I get out of this thing? There we go. Anyway... Another wonderful one. Wonder Nurse. Blossom City's never going to be the same after this. Oh my goodness, another wonderful one. Who be this? Wonder Makeup. Priscilla Bellrose from Australia. That's a reference to something.
Also, you might have noticed that uh, P-Star has a tendency to jump forward and draw Unite Morphs that you should do. Uh, whenever it seems like you might get stuck. Oh! Wonderful Stinger for the gun. Gun Stinger is very useful because uh, it just fires a lot of bullets really, really fast. Wonder Medicine. He wields the Overdoser. Like so. Very useful. Unless the enemy does that thing where it just automatically blocks uh, any attacks that you might be throwing at it. In which case, not so great because it just knocks your dudes out. Oh yeah, uh, getting a high enough combo with uh, Fist makes you catch on fire, which means you can start throwing fireballs. And, uh, same thing with sword, uh, electrifies your sword. Let's see, I got a feeling. I could have sworn there'd be a secret fight back here. Evidently, I was wrong. There is, however, a wonderful figure. And a wonderful toilet. Everybody get inside. Give me that Geth Jerk file. Bing. Useless information. Rude. I don't think they want us getting near Blossom Tower. Team, unite up. Roger. Okay, now we can control the maglev. You cannot switch rails while using a Unite Morph. So, uh, yeah, uh, here's the deal. Look at that. And you can, you can change rails on the maglev, but not while using a Unite Morph. You can probably imagine that there is going to be some point where we'll need to use a Unite Morph on here. Like, for example, here. Where we've got to deal with these Ha Markies. They're only 25% dangerous, though. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Oi! It's okay, just use gun. you don't have to worry about a thing. There is a Chivo for getting through this whole section without getting hit, though. You can also steer while jumping. Whoa!
Whoa. Yeah, whoa. Oh no, I don't have to worry about lasers because I have a giant sword. Oh, well. I have to actually make sure he hits my sword. Oh no! Yeah! Well, it's time for another Platinum Games staple. Oh man, we have no idea how powerful the Mazer is. The rival with identical powers. Now what? And beautiful Joe, it was Alistair. I believe that they Bayonetta, it was Jean. Bring him on. Me, my Valiantium blade, and alien make three. Once I cut him in half, uh, it makes four. If I cut him again, you're gonna get like six. Six. You've managed to fend off my attack. Most admirable. And he's voiced by Identify Quentin Flynn. Yourself. At last, I lay eyes on the pathetic planet CHIQ. What do you call it? Dearth? Dearth? Wait, Blue, is that like the official name? Are you kidding me? Ah, did I make an error? I could have sworn that the guidebook says, hmm. Hand over that book immediately. Dude. Forget the book. You are someone of some authority then? I can see it in your eyes. I'm Wonder Red, special combat agent in charge. Sentinel's Planetary Secret Service. Blunder Red, a fascinating name. As for myself, I am heir to the throne of the Comet Rulo and extraordinary leader of the Space Pirates, Gaizok. To my people, I am the esteemed Vorkin Oji. However, since I've been informed your language lacks the proper reverence for my title, I will allow you to call me Prince Borgen. <laughs> oh no. He has a mysterious danger quotient. I don't care if you're king of the universe, bro. You need to step off our planet. Chugi. What is your read on this Blunder Red's combat ability? Master, I sense he poses little threat. Chugi is unknown danger, too. Hmm. Even when completely ignored, Blue remains stoic in his disappointment. Truly a guiding light. Cork it, Bordeaux! This is your first and only warning, invaders. Surrender your arms, or we'll have to use force. Surrender my arms? I'm afraid that is not going to happen. You see, I need them for battle. A righteous battle, I might add. The reasons for which I will be happy to iterate for you should take about 10 to 15 minutes of your time, Blunder Red. Shall we begin? Wonder, Red. 
And, uh, yeah, fine. We'd be delighted to hear your story. <laughs> Seriously? Then I shall begin at the I am end. Wonder Red. I do it love exposition. Long, long ago. 240 years to be exact. On my beloved Rulo. 1.2 trillion light years away. I was born the first son of an imperial family, making me heir to the throne. As the heir apparent, I spent my days studying the finer arts of imperial decorum until I joined a famed imperial international school. Those were the days. I poured myself into my studies, surrounded by classmates who shared my vision for the universe. Yet one fateful day, something happened that changed my life forever. She was a new student, just transferred to the class next door, and I was smitten. <laughs> uh, if I may, we should not keep his omnipotence waiting. No, really? Wait, what about that fateful day? Dude, who cares? You must prove you are worthy. <laughs> I love how it sounds like Wonder Red is actually hooked onto that story. We will do battle, warrior of death. Should you provide me with some small amusement, I will share my tragic fate. To arms, Blunder Red. Diplomacy has failed, wonderful 100. Team, unite up! That was diplomacy? So, Vorkin. Um... He has Unite Morphs. So he basically kind of operates under the same rules as you do. Uh, use Guts to block Fists. He can only create Unite Morphs as big as he has dudes for. He does have one rule that he breaks. Um, his sword can penetrate your Guts, but your sword cannot penetrate his Guts. I don't know if he has Guts at this point, but uh, he can also create... Uh, giant Unite Morphs like this. Oh, he can indeed create Guts. He can also create the Super Scope, the ultimate weapon. But yeah, you definitely want to block his attacks whenever you get the chance, because, oh boy. Oh! Breaking his gut, breaking his Unite Morphs obviously stuns him, stuns a lot of his dudes at once, so he can't create a quite as big Unite Morphs. Just when things were getting good. Chugi, remember that proposal I proposed we propose? Sure. <laughs> Warrior of Dearth, Blunder Red, was it? Wonder Red. Your skills have inspired me, as I'm sure they have inspired you. What say you? Join me, and together we will roam the galaxy Never. as... Wow, that was quick. <laughs> we don't negotiate with invaders. We are the sworn defenders of peace on our planet. We are the wonderful one double O. Peace on Earth? Well, I suppose everyone has to have a hobby. Even I once had a... Of course, your fate is sealed either way. Blunder Red, I will allow you to live to reconsider my offer. I expect a different answer when next we meet. Shugi? Nap time. As you wish, Master. What is this, Kindergarten? Where are you going? That is about the smuggest way I've ever heard somebody declare they're going to take a nap. <gasps> Unite, Unite Sword! sword. 
Oh no. It's not the showy special effects that win the fight, it's the team. Hmm, have we just received a lecture on the merits of teamwork from Blue? Glorious, wouldn't you agree? Stuff a beret in it. There was something about those pirates. I just can't put my finger on it. Hmm? What is it, Red? Probably nothing. Team! I just let's move. I just Come really want to know what happened on that fateful night. That was such a gripping story, I have to know. Oh, look at these poor citizens running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Oh my goodness. Did we get a new skill? Yes, indeed. Wonderful Rising! Wonderful Rising is a fantastic skill. I just hope I'll get a chance to demonstrate it. Let's see. Maybe if I stick enough guys on there. Yeah! Wonderful Rising lets you carry dudes up into the air. And juggle them. At which point you can then use Wonder Tombstone. Unite Tombstone to drop back down. And then juggle them some more. And then drop back down. And then juggle them some more. It's all very fun. Keep driving my dudes into that spike thing, and that's bad. But how do I open that spike thing? Hmm. Hmm. Well, first things first. Let's do this Kaku Riga. Defeat all enemies. Oh no, I only have 10 dudes. But it's okay. There's this remote that instantly converts all of these guys to my side. And then I can recruit that guy. And then actually, I believe inside these Wonder Toilets are uh, additional Geth remotes. <laughs> anyway, that's that one done and dusted. Let us proceed onwards. Hmm. Oh my goodness, it's Sonic the Hedgehog! Or Getty Dogu. That, that works too. So, spikes. You can't actually do anything about spikes. Try as you might, the spikes cannot be dealt with. You guys are here. Oh my God. 
So, uh, the enemies aren't actually food puns. They're puns based on, um, romanizing Japanese words. Like Orochi. And, in fact, the name that uh, Vorkin gave for Earth, C-H-I-Q, Chiku. So, yeah. It's all just, it's all just, like, corruptions of what the pronunciations would be. We've been waiting for you, Ms. Mariana Cresresco. I disagree, but okay. from the Transylvania field office. Or should I say, Wonder Pink? Um, who is this Captain Buzzkill? Uh, I'm Wonder Red. Wonderful one from Blossom City. Right, not my type. Hey, can we save the meet and greet for later? We got a pain in the butt hedgehog to get rid of. Pain in the butt hedgehog? Wonder Blue. Stop referencing. Please stop. Please stop, you were in high school. But hey. Unite Whip gets rid of spiky armor. And in fact, whoa, Unite Whip is actually a pretty decent Unite Morph. So, you can just, like, extend the line past your screen. Like, you don't have to worry about making sure it confines to the camera. Oh, goodness! So for Unite Whip, you want to draw an S. And then when you repeatedly strike an enemy, you stun them, and then you can rip off their spiky armor and then punch them. And now that we have Wonderful Rising for the Fist, which is very good. So, the thing about Wonderful Rising is that you can use it multiple times in a row. You can use it twice in a row because you have a double jump. So you can do like rising and then combo and then rising again and then combo and then tombstone and just chain it into more risings, more combos. It it will get absurd. The combos that we will be doing. Ouch! Also, because uh, Unite Tombstone creates like a shock wave, um, it can actually damage enemies in quite a big area of effect. So Unite Whip is pretty handy because it increases the combo meter by 0.5, which is a not tiny amount. Oh yeah, there is a Wonder Toilet. There is a Wonder Toilet. He's in there. He's he's a he's a he's a gun user. In fact, uh you know, we could, we could switch to him if we want. There we go. We are now Wonder Toilet. In fact, uh, since Wonder Blue is at maximum, uh, let's switch to Wonder Magician for our sword. Wonder Green still isn't maxed out yet, though, so, you know, we'll leave him there. And we can't switch out Wonder Pink because we only have Wonder Pink for the whip. 
But different wonderful ones can actually have different stats. Wonder Magician is not quite as fast as Wonder Blue. And Wonder Toilet, he can actually run at maximum speed with the uh, fist. In fact, he can run a lot faster than Wonder Red can with a large fist out. In general, all the uh, fat characters can run faster with larger with larger Unite Morphs. Like, see? Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him zoom. So Unite Whip can also be used to swing. Just like Castlevania. And in fact, uh, Unite Whip is a reference to Castlevania because the actual name of Wonder Pink's weapon is... Uh, the, sword, uh, the whip is made out of uh, Belmont Alloy. I want to know. Can we make it? Yes! Okay, we are about to create the ultimate weapon. We need 30 space peppers, 30 space carrots, and 30 space eggplants. And it creates... the wonderful card. A credit card that allows you to purchase any single item issued in Commander Nelson's name. So. With the wonderful card. We can come down here to Yukemi. Oh no. Where am I going to get 800,000 P? Bro. I got this wonderful card here. Under Lawrence Nelson's name, it has an expiration date of infinity. Uh, but yes. Basically, you want to use the crafting system to do nothing but craft credit cards so that you can purchase all the most expensive items in the game. Like Ukemi, which is one of the most useful skills that we are never, ever, ever taking off. Also, yeah, the crafting thing is a QTE, which is kind of weird, but... Roger. But, uh, if you've played a Platinum game before, you probably have heard... You probably know what Ukemi is, especially if you've played Beautiful Joe. Oops, excuse me. Beautiful Joe. It is important that we activate this water slide. I promise you. Everybody get on the water slide. So many people rank up for from riding on the water slide. Riding on the water slide gives you so many experience points. Hooray! Wonder Ribbon! Another whip user. So now we have two whip users. So now we can multi-morph with, uh, two whips. Oh, dang. There's actually a skill I should have bought that would let me interact with, uh, that thing there. But oh well. Yeah, there's a few more Wonder Colors. No, you worry. So you might have noticed uh, how expensive um, Wonder Tombstone is based on the couple of times that I've used it. <laughs> 
like three whole batteries worth of uh, energy. So yeah, it's a it's a pricey move, but it's very effective. Anyway, I'm gonna get another wonderful one, and it also unlocks Unite Stinger for the whip, which works like Unite Stinger for the for the sword and fist. Wonder Wonderland, Allison Trump. Down the rabbit hole. She has very little experience. Also, her dress has hearts, diamonds, and spades on it, and clubs. So she's also a reference to the, the playing cards and all that. It looks like she's also got a chess piece on the end of her whip, the lovely pawn. It's a great big Alice in Wonderland reference. Oh, but we're not done yet. Wonder Piero. He is a clown with the unlucky blaster. I genuinely couldn't remember if there was anything back over there or not. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Anyway. I demand that everybody get on board. about to say, something didn't seem right. There's supposed to be, like, some music or something like that. Also, I'm supposed to get a Chivo. But, uh, they seem to be rather stubborn about giving it to me. There we go. Just gotta get everybody on there. Yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah! Everybody loves the Ferris wheel. Oh no! Spike guy. Bada boom. It's always something, isn't it? Coughed up a giant loogie called a Nyerk. Also, I'm vaguely winning, yeah. I'm doing pretty decently. So the Nyerk 
is, uh, you don't want to get your wonderful ones in it. You want to attack it from as far away as possible with a piercing weapon, because it will trap your wonderful ones inside its jelly-like structure, and that's bad. You don't want that. When it jumps up into the air, it'll, like, stretch itself out to try to get you. Like that. But yeah, fighting these guys, kind of a pain, just because, like, they really eat up your battery since you can't really combo them too easily. They can also fire lasers, which that one just absolutely refused to do. Aha! Here is one of the best wonderful ones in the game. She might be a little hard to see. She's right there. She's got the pom-poms. Wonder Cheerleader, Sylviane Lumiere. This is, this is just Sylvia from Beautiful Joe. It's just Sylvia from Beautiful Joe. She's got the glasses, the haircut, color scheme. And she uses guns, too. She uses double guns, uh, the Desperado. Even her name, Sylvian, uh, is, Syl is uh, Sylvia. Anyway, uh, there is actually something up there. I just need, like, one more dude to reach it, apparently. I just don't want to go any further because... I feel like there's a secret fight that I could be getting. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh yeah, if you're stuck with, like, one, uh, wonderful one, you can do basic attacks, but, uh, they don't do a whole lot of damage. Whoa. Oof. Wonder Tombstone can't block attacks, by the way. Don't try it. I don't know why I keep trying it. Uh, but yeah, I know there's, like, a thing up there. I hope I didn't miss my chance. That would suck.
Yeah, all right. I'm pretty sure it's just like a hero heart. It's not another wonderful one, I know that much. This robot's analysis is not very thorough, no? Dude. Not him again. A surfing robot that surfs on a spaceship. Make sure you save the citizens. Wonder Toilet Run! By the way, you can speed up drawing by holding down the uh, left bumper. Oh, thank you, Frog. Pure Platinum. See, look at that. We got so much battery that hitting enemies restores our bat, restores our health. Isn't that the most useful thing in the world? So yeah, the energy converter is very useful. Wonder Shopping, huh? From Edmonton. Just nineteen ninety nine. This guy just doesn't know when to give up. Oh no! Rude. Oh, I fell again.
Yeah, uh, fortunately none of the quick time events are like instant death. Or like anything that would be considered like a quick time event-y sort of thing. Boing. Oh no, not the platinum logo. Look at how tall these buildings are. And big. Oh, but oh, it's not over yet. So this is something I'm I'm definitely going to need this for. So, uh here we go. We are controlling the Geth jerk by the Geth jerk weapon by pushing these buttons. And we want to not hit any buildings, but we want to hit as many, like, get your things as we can. Oh no, I hit a building. I feel the worst. Uh, but... There's no penalty to hitting, uh, get jerk weapons with the body of your ship. So, you know, you can just ram into them however you please. Oops. Definitely not getting pure platinum on this, though. Oh, no! But, uh, every once in a while, one of these guys shows up inside the ship. Causing, uh, needless pain. Yeah. This part is a little difficult.
Not bad. Could have been better, but not bad. Now, there is a pattern here that we have to draw. Oh. There we go. Aha! Now you'd think there'd be something on that giant clock, but there is not. Not even a little thing. Oh no! One of those things, but with spikes on it. A get down! No time for it. I bet you think you're real funny, huh? Oh. oh yeah, the whip can also pick up uh, spiked bombs and throw them. This is Ukemi, by the way. If you take damage from an attack that launches you and you hit the jump button right before you hit the ground, you will recover all the damage you would have taken. But not only that, uh, like, you won't get a damage penalty. for my, uh, liner to, uh, regenerate. Oh! Just hit me right in my face. But yeah, that's an example of an enemy that drops really fast. But yeah, even though I got hit a whole bunch, I only took one damage penalty because I was able to Ukemi the others. That's why we bought Ukemi. It's super useful. Okay, I know we missed a Kakuriga somewhere. Yeah, see? Well done, team. We missed something, somewhere. Oh! That's what was at the top of the thing. It was a Kakuriga. That's right. Hmm. Anything useful we can buy? Ah! This is Speed Charge. This increases the recovery speed of the Unite Gauge. Very useful. Unite charge. Unite charge lets you hold down the attack button to automatically increase the size of your Unite Morphs. Uh, can be useful if you're not very good at drawing big shapes on the fly. Safeguard. Safeguard reduces damage but costs Unite Gauge. Double power. Double power increases damage but drains Unite Gauge faster. Item catcher. Reflected enemy attack with Unite Guts to make them drop items. Healing guts. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, whenever you successfully Guts somebody, your hit points are recovered, but your Unite Gauge refills much more slowly. Auto guts. And this just automatically Guts, but it decreases your Unite Gauge even more than usual. Dodge mine. This drops mines when you use Unite Spring. Can be interesting. Hero counter. And this is basically the parry attack from, uh, Revengeance. Uh, let's see. Formation charge. 
Uh, nothing's really grabbing me at the moment, so... We're just gonna save our money for now. And move on to the uh, second boss fight of the Roger. game. You don't say. Notoria! Target acquired. Let's get this parasitic intelligence extractor. Team, unite up! Roger. Yeah, let's do it. Oh no! So, this bizarre red field that uh, was happening there for a brief moment. Actually, it disables their Unite Morphs. Everybody loves Pi. Oh, you also gotta watch out for lasers every once in a while. But yeah, you can't even use uh, dodge or guts while that red field is active, so uh, be careful. Stop being weird. Yeah, that's Terra Strong, who's Wonder Pink, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think she's Luca. I think Luca's someone else. Oh, man. This guy's 250% dangerous now. Wait, that's illegal. Target is that giant bipedal assault weapon. Team, engaging unlimited form. Time to power up. Team, unite up. Roger. Enemy robots. All fighters, this is Pink Leader. Pull back from that target immediately. 
So we actually don't have enough dudes to uh, guts that quite yet. But we can... Uh, use the Wonderliner to regenerate some of the tower's health each time. But uh, every once in a while, you'll get uh, this supply drop of dudes you can recruit. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. You want to shoot that before he's able to throw it. Oh no! If the tower is destroyed, it is instant game over, though, by the way. So, uh, we are actually in a pretty bad situation right now. But now we can start blocking his, uh... He'll try faking you out a couple times, which is uh, really annoying. But uh, then his hand falls off and you can throw it back in his stupid face. This is a pretty cool boss fight, though. Anyway, we just gotta recruit one more guy. There we go. Now we can start doing some damage. I tried.
Oh no, I died. This is, I think, actually kind of the hardest boss fight in the game, though. Either way, it's kind of a weird difficulty spike at this point. And if you can believe it, there is actually a Chivo for, like, not letting the tower take any damage at all. Uh, well, for one, you start with a full complement of 100. I know this one. Wait, no, that's... So yeah, um, every quick time event, well, most quick time events, have a unique failure animation. And some of them are actually really, really, really funny. But there's one in particular during this fight that I'm trying to remember which one it is. MONEY! Glorious money. Oh! Yeah. That thing looks breakable. Let's just use a uh, some multi morphs on it. You're not red. Uh, is this the one? I can't remember if this is the one or not. Oh, this is the one. Oh my god! What is happening here? Wait a minute, what was that laugh? Oh my god! 
What is happening here? If you fail this enough times in a row, which is why I'm just letting it sit here, um, you actually get a special version. And I couldn't remember if it was 3 or 10, but it's looking like it's 10. I'm pretty sure I just heard Robin Atkin Downs. I know this is going to tank my rank at the end of the fight, but I don't care. I know it happens after, like, ten failures now. It's really weird that out of all all of the uh, quick-time failures, there is one that you have to fail, like, a million times in a row in order to unlock a special version of it, but... I've forgotten how many times this is. I think that's five. I'm sorry for subjecting everybody to this for however long it takes to get to the special version, but it's worth it. Haha, <laughs> it's funny because Beautiful Joe's 3 is never gonna happen! <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it! Oh, 
I'm pretty sure all those buildings still got blown up, but oh, okay. We did it! Stop it. You're weird. Wonder Green. Wonder Green, you're 12. He is 12. We've got a lot of data to comb through if we're going to And she's in high school, yeah. Right next. Back to the ship and remain on high alert. Roger. Wonderful 100. Let's head home. Roger. Let's head home. Let's hope it didn't get blown up by the giant robot. I somehow still got a platinum in time, though. Not sure how that happened, but okay. The wonderful 101. Ooh, look at all that money. What should we buy today? Hmm, we could get multi unite two. Multi unite two. Sounds pretty cool. I want that. Oh my god. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably certain three unite morphs at once is Operation is plenty. Zero zero three, Stratoport Stratospheric Airport. So, so it's called the Stratoport, and it's a stratospheric airport, so they just took out the spheric air in order to come up with the name of this place. Okay. Team, thanks to your efforts, we've regained complete control of the Sentinel comm network, and strategic data is coming back online. We are now able to assess the invaders' tactical capabilities in detail, and track their movements across the entire planet. Alice, is your analysis complete? Displaying strategic information now. I'm showing them. Look at all that strategy. In sector SK6108. They're headed for Stratoport at high speed. Stratoport? No, it can't be. Alice, plot a course for Stratoport immediately. Maximum speed. Roger. Uh, uh, Nelson, bro? I don't suppose you could give us, like, the dumbed-down version of what's up? I, I mean, I'm down, but some of these guys aren't the sharpest swords in the rack. Indeed! I second this notion. Certain wonderful ones may not be so wonderful in grasping the peril at hand. Okay, I gotta admit, I, I kind of love how little of a shit Wonder Pink gives of their excuses. Powered by super reactors positioned at five strategic locations across the planet. They've been carefully camouflaged to prevent the jerks from discerning their locations. But despite our efforts, also, yes, in case you are wondering, that is a giant hole where the west coast of the United States used to be. In fact, that's actually where uh, Blossom City is. Uh, Blossom City is an artificial island. Uh, in the shape of a five-petaled blossom uh, in that hole there. No, there's no sign Mother Platinum has been compromised. Maybe this glorified smartphone leaked the information? Without Margarita, Earth would already be lost. It was the brainchild of a brilliant young scientist, and without her sacrifice, it would never have been completed. Also, thank God she was the one who named it, because I definitely don't want our interstellar defense system being named something like, uh, I don't know, tequila, or whiskey, or bourbon. Margarita sounds classy. Bourbon just... it sounds almost pedestrian, really. They're under attack! Those jerks. We can't lose those shuttles. Wonderful one, double O. 
You need to get in there and save those shuttles. The Virgin Victory will handle any enemy air power. Roger! Team! Fall in! Roger! I do love the fact that they're called the jerks just because it makes him saying that with such utter seriousness so absurd. Those jerks! All right. Well, okay, I guess we don't need to get through those fire and flames. But hey, we can shoot fireballs. That's cool. You now work for us. As do you, and you, and you, and you. What the heck? What's the kid doing here? What? Luca? You're supposed to be in sick bay. Huh? How do you know my name? Uh, cause that's what the other kids at school call you? How do you know what the other kids at school call me? Uh fight those aliens, right? I know you can't do it alone. I'll go with you. Sorry, little dude. Ankle biters and firefights don't mix. What? I know I can do this. I know I can. Take me with you. No means no. And no. No way. All those other kids we recruited, they're perfectly fine. But you, you wear a stupid pair of goggles on your hat. You have a dumb scarf. And you're a reference to another platinum video game. And your last name is Alan Smithy. There's no time to argue. Luca's coming with us. Dude. 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 Electra played him with a tiny wonder mask. Uh, an extra tiny one. Everyone else, cover Luca. How do you like me now? Team, let's move. Roger. I thought you hated the one double O, Luca. I thought you didn't want to be a member of the one double O. I thought it was one double O, one schmumble O. I'm sure this will be fine. You know, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Aha! I knew there was something around here. Oh, that won't be too bad. Oh, never mind. It will be that bad. Stop it! Go away! Whoa! No, 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 no. Wait, how have I already taken that much damage? Oh my god!
Good gracious. Also, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, nice Twitch. Wait a minute. Who fixed that? I'm now supremely confused. Oh, hey, it's one of those things from Metroid Prime 3. Oh, I'm sorry, it's an N-Van. Yeah, baby. Oh, nope. Okay. Oh, no. Like, it's totally dead. That's a bummer. Miss the Ukemi. That's a bummer. Sorry, mister. Oh, it's you. Professor! My dear Professor, it has been so long. Eccentric as always, I see. Now get! Get! James Shirogane, hmm? I wonder if he's the guy who created the Shirogane Drive. Why are you always asking questions you already got answers for? Them jerks are after the super reactor in the strata port. I was just taking some of my creations over to protect the reactor. Why is it always protect and defend? Why can't we just take the fight to them? Just cut some bigwig alien's head off and say, see you later, bye bye Come on. Ah, Blue, I advise restraint. The geezer, he does not take well to critique. Who you calling geezer, baguette? Anyhow, if and you can hold your horses for the 24 hours we need to keep that reactor going, and we can bring them all the tarnation you want. Dude, that a promise? I'll fill in <laughs> the details once you've completed your mission. Now, 
My stuff's in the cargo bay of shuttle number one. Y'all need to grab it. I want to bring the tarnation to them. That shuttle goes down, and our gooses is cooked. Roger. Team, let's move. Roger. Tarnation bringing is something I very much want to do. Oh yes, his hair is excellent. Hey, wait a second. I see a wonderful one up there. Oh, we gotta go help him. Oh, come on. Yeah! Wonder clean. Uh, so, there is a perk for leveling up all the wonderful ones. You actually get more, like, custom block slots. And in fact, in order to get every custom block slot, you have to level up every single wonderful one. should also help people along the way because we can get Wonder Movie. I love it. It's great. His assignment is in Hollywood. Oh no! I don't have something that can strike! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. Well, where am I? There, look what the cat dragged in! Ah, you are all so late! <clears throat> In this time, I have been waiting. Uh, you're the late one, comrade. Where the heck have you been? 
Kept you waiting, huh? Nelson orders me to be bodyguard for professor following invasion. <laughs> I fight alone. Many battles waiting for you. Commander Nelson ordered you here? Amazing. He anticipated the enemy's movements perfectly. But uh, soon after I get here, I get lost. Then I find myself wandering alone. It is very lonely up above ceiling. Yeah, what happened to guarding the professor? Well, don't you be looking at me. I had the foggiest notion old Yeller was even on board. And also, on the way to airport to come here, I get lost. I almost miss plane, but then I board plane. Barely. Whatever happened, happened. Right now, we need your help, Mr. Ivan Eschenikov, a.k.a. the Hammering Ruski, Special Combat Agent, Siberia Field Office, Sentinel's Planetary Secret Service, Wonder Yellow! It is my honor to serve, Captain. My life is not even worthy of being yours. But, but it is yours. My life, that I... I uh, so embarrassed. Less conversation, more action, comrade. I indeed. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> Wonder eyes, yellow. I think. So unite hammer, you draw a line and then a circle and you create a hammer. I don't know what this guy over here is doing. Hammer does a lot of damage. Especially if you make a big hammer. Oh. Like this. The big hammer can also uh, create shockwaves. But ang ang angry angry robot will still break hammer. That's not a disco ball. Gross. Magang. So, these guys have armor. So, smash it with a hammer! They also have mostly unblockable attacks. It is very difficult to, uh... Oh wow, we already got Stinger. Oh, hey, come on. See, like that, they can create, like, jets underneath you. And their biting attack counts as piercing, so you don't want to try gutsing that.
Wow. Nice. Uh, that is Hammer Stinger. It is very cool. But, uh, you might notice they have a hook on their tail. Oh, goodness, the camera is not very helpful right now. Hmm. You might be able... You might only be able to hit it, like, after certain attacks. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted. There we go. But yeah. Hammer's like the big heavy attack of the game. You can break armor. Oh, if you actually manage to successfully do this, don't use hammer, use hand, and you can knock them over. And they take way more damage. Hammer can also reveal certain, uh, treasures. Like that. In fact, uh... This is how you find one of the secrets in, uh, the very first level of the game. You need Wonder Hammer in order to do it, but you don't have Wonder Hammer at that point. Okay. That was interesting, to say the least. Oh no, everybody's waiting in line for the toilet! Not anymore, they're not. I have more important things to do. I am more important. My time is more valuable. Gotta get the power working, huh? So, here's one point where you actually have to do something with sword. You have to absorb lightning. Real lightning! Oh my god. Yeah. 
See, as long as you get good at Ukemi, you're basically invincible. Ta-da! Hmm. Let's start leveling up some of these other wonderful ones, like Wonder Gamer. Uh, Wonder Green still has a little ways to go. Oh, definitely gotta start leveling up other Wonder Whips, though. Well, this one has a gear on it because we need that gear. It stole it, don't you know? Pure platinum. See, like that. And now we can open them the way. Oh, wait, what? A Dokun. Uh, hmm. Oh, goodness. Oh, you can't me. Mm. 
Yeah, baby. So even though I got hit because I I ukemied, I was able to avoid taking a damage penalty. <sighs> oh god, that move's just a pain in the ass. That time I got squished. As well should you not be. I missed something. Well done, team. Oh, gold's not bad. I didn't get mag Oh yeah, because I like fell straight down that one thing. There were a lot of batteries on that path that I missed. That really bites. Let's see, how am I doing on supplies? Hmm, gotta get some more. Hmm. Nothing really interesting in here. I suppose I could get you Night Ball. Roger. Unite Ball is basically the equivalent of Panther Within. The wonderful 101. You just hit the dodge button twice, and you start rolling around in a ball. And you can jump. And double jump. It doesn't last forever, though. So, hey, we're starting each mission with 48 wonderful ones now. Oh, do you mean rolling around at the speed of sound?
So Unite Hammer is also Unite Umbrella. Very handy. Commander Nelson, enemy reinforcements approaching. I'm reading to Those are some giant magnetic tapes. Assault UFOs. Good lord, that's a lot of UFOs. Swarm the Virgin Victory! Oh no! We will be left without escape! Gun stations, open fire! Shoot down those hostiles and defend the Virgin Victory! Yep. Time to pilot the version victory yet again. Don't shoot that one. Shoot this one. Oh, nope. Yep. And once again, I think there's a Chivo for completing this part without uh, having your friendly take any damage. Which I am obviously not skilled enough to get. Bones. Get out of here. Pure platinum. Um, I'm no expert or anything, but I'm pretty sure that would have done a lot of damage. Ho ho! Damn it! 
damn it. I'm just trying to move. Wonder jump? Oh, come on, jump. Whew. Oh. Don't run into the fire, dude. Oh, God. I genuinely cannot remember how to get through this part. At least it's not timed. There we go. I knew I had to shoot something. Yeah, this is a uh, somewhat disorientating.
wonder. Just can't take a break. That was cool. Oh my god. Get out of here. Oh, that's a that's a fairly effect, effective retort. Oh, don't forget to save that guy. Or this guy. Or these guys. Especially because one of them was a wonderful one. Wonder money. Wow, he's spinning real fast. He's assigned to Wall Street. Now, the one exception to the don't hit them with the hammer while they're reeling thing is, um... If you use a stinger, that will also knock them over. But you have to actually aim good with it. Welcome to the Wonder Jump chapter, where we do a lot of Wonder Jumps!
Gotta collect all those batteries. Oh, hey, another new wonderful one. Wonder flower. Damn. Oh yeah, the bigger the whip, the more armor you rip off when you manage to uh, stun them. That's just how powerful multi-morphing is. Like, that guy's health did not stand a chance. Well, that's all the Kakurigas in uh, Operation 3. Defeat all enemies. Oh good, it's two of these bastards. So, mm, one thing I should note is that uh, Ukemi doesn't work in Kakurigas. Taking a hit in a Kakuriga means you took a hit. And you just have to live with the consequences of that. The wonderful one double O! Oh my goodness! Alright, everybody pile in. Space carrots. Oh! I got 30 space carrots. That's good. Oh, goody! Here she is! That container I was telling y'all about. Once we switch on the puppy I got packed away in here, those jerks will never get their hands on the super reactor. 
Oh no, those jerks are about to get their hands on the super reactor. You would know. Shut up. Red, emergency orders from Commander Nelson. The Virgin Victory is holding off as much as we can, but some enemy ships have still gotten through to Stratoport. Proceed to the roof of the station and protect the super reactor at all costs. Oh, who does he think he is? A girl needs a shower between assignments. Ma chérie. I do not care what you think you need. If you don't get up there, the world's gonna blow up, and then nobody will be able to take any showers. Stop being weird. Com relays are being prioritized for tactical interferometry support. Keep a lid on the chatter. Roger. Destination Stratoport roof. Team, let's move. If the port falls, we are done for. So then we don't let it fall. Nelson's got our backs. Oh, well, obviously, first we should uh, take a little shopping trip. Splendid. I mean, you can't save the world unless you go on a sick shopping spree for... I don't know what. Do I even have enough to make another credit card? Nope, I need more peppers. Do I have enough to buy anything cool? Nope. I'm gonna save up for speed liner. Roger! They probably could have gotten rid of that intermediary loading screen. Game loads a little fast on PC. Forty nine wonderful ones. That's almost enough to make big guts. Now that's what I like to see. Our gal's still safe. Mm, and her beating heart, the super reactor. So, you're the vermin that's been scurrying about nipping at her heels. Who's that's there? not the voice I expected Seriously? her to have. I tell you, the only thing I wanna is to squash this dude. Like the bug he is. Buzz off, bug face. Or stick around and find out what a real sting feels like. The Valiantium way. Ah, blue. A variation on a theme. I approve. Stick a croissant in it. <laughs> it's you who will feel the sting, Earthlings. Bring it. Da <laughs> Leader, 
No, no, they're the ones who are supposed to say that, Luca. You got it backwards. Okay. Yeah, all right, we get it. Another one? You're kidding me. Blue, wait. You <laughs> Okay, bye. Don't ask me how we're controlling this thing. Catching a ride on a missile is not my idea of a good idea. Oh, seriously, I am going to need a total makeover after this. I didn't think you had it in you, Rad. Where is this place? <laughs> then we're just gonna have to shove this missile down this jerk's throat ourselves. Team, unite up! Roger! Roger. All right, sounds like a plan. Uh Oh, come on. Luca, they are aliens. I think it's a bit much this to assume that they speak English, even though they are speaking English quite clearly. Do 
<laughs> the lethal form, as opposed to the previous form, which was less than lethal. Wonder Red, we need to talk about what diplomacy is. Team, unite up. Unite Umbrella! Ew. So yeah, uh, these guys have really obvious hooks on their tails, and if you keep whipping them, you can just... You just pull them right up. Wonder Wonderland leveled up. Oh, nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Doink. Doink. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, oh, we're leveling everybody up. Nice. Nope, get off.
Good lord. Wonderful Cyclone, and that's the last of the uh, wonderful specials for uh, the fist. So yes, of course, you can throw those missiles back. Why would you not be able to? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Damn it!
Good lord. Put everybody we can into the sword. Yeah! No such a uh, catchphrase in my country. Uh, I. You heard it here first. Russia has no catchphrases. Yet I have nothing. in my country. I, I, I am unprepared. I have still not made catchphrase. <laughs> well, you missed your chance, comrade. There he goes. Wonderful 100. Do you copy? The enemy fleet has been destroyed, and remaining bogeys have bugged out. Did you remember Excellent. to say our catchphrase Get before the guy exploded? And treat yourself to a nice hot shower. And a double scoop strawberry shake. Do not forget the shake. And there's that baggage that needs returning to sender. Right, kiddo? Hey, I'm not baggage. I have a name. L-U-K-A-Luke. 
And Luca stands for ankle biter. Operation 003 complete. Flight path clear. Virgin Victory now proceeding to recover Professor Shiragane. Red, return to ship through hatch number three. Roger. Team, back to the bridge. Roger. Roger. So we're gonna drop Luca off, right? Luca's not gonna be hanging out with us anymore. Luca's gonna be going home. We're not gonna have to worry about Luca anymore. Well done, team. I'm surprised I got a gold for damage. Honestly, I figured that would. Mm. Hmm. Uh, hey, I wanted to save up for speed charge. I don't have enough yet. Dang it. Ah, Unite Spikes. This is an upgrade for Guts. Unite Spikes. It increases uh, the amount of damage Guts does to enemies. By quite a bit, actually. Hmm, Speedliner. Speedliner. Speedliner makes you draw really fast. Actually, I think last time I said I wanted to save up for Speedliner. But now I'm so close to Speed Charge. And Speed Charge, I gotta say, is more useful than uh, Speedliner. Because I can technically draw faster as long as I remember to hold down the bumper button. So I think that's it for tonight. Um, well, let's see. Nope, still gotta get more space peppers. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for tonight. Um... But yeah, Wonderful 101 is super good. And this is running really well. I mean, granted, I have a pretty good PC, but still. It runs great. Uh, the file size is hilariously tiny. Um, it's only 8 gigabytes. And it comes out May 19th for the general public. Something like that. Uh... I mean, you can pre-order it on Switch or Steam. Uh, I don't know if you can pre-order it on PS4 yet, but... Um, yeah, it's... It's pretty dang good. So, uh, next time I stream, it's probably going to be more, more this. Just because I love this. A good game. Anyway, uh, I will see you all next time.